Sometimes we suffer because of our own actions. Wakati mwingine tutatesea kwa sababu ya yale ambayo tuliyoyatenda. Galatians chapter 6 verse 5. Yes. The Bible says for every man shall bear his own burden. Kila mtu atapepeba mzigo wake. What is the Hosea 4:6 saying? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because yes. you have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you from being priest for me. And because you have rejected knowledge. Kwa sababu umekataa ufahamu. I also reject you. Hata mimi ninawakataa. Let me be clear on this ladies and gentlemen. Wacha niweke wazi hili. And don't consider me controversial. Na usichukue vibaya. This is the truth that has to be told. Ni ukweli yafaa unenwe. Many people today. Watu wengi leo hii. The kinds of the frustrations they are going through. At baadhi ya changamoto wanaopitia. It is because of the things they collected on the altar themselves. Ni vitu waliokota katika madhabahu wa wenyewe. Because number one, Kwa sababu la kwanza, you expect my grace to work for you as your pastor. Unatamani neema yangu ifanye kwako kama mchungaji. When in really sense you are cheating on me. Wakati wewe unanidanganya. If you can tell me that you are going to work. Ikiutaniambia unaenda kazini. And I get a report on phone from a pastor friend who is telling me pastor they are not at work two of them you are keyboardist and you are church elder they are in my church in uh, fact they are on the altar right now greeting people i would not refuse to let you go siwezi kataa usiende but if you want to go to minister kama unataka kwenda kuhudumu tell me niambie let me bless you wacha nikubariki i'm telling you you will operate in my your grace and my grace utahudumu katika neema yako na yangu pia will be more powerful utakuwa na nguvu zaidi if you sit under me Ukiketi chini yangu when my heart is bitter about you wakati roho yangu iko na uchungu na wewe for all this time since morning kutoka asubuhi mpaka right now mpaka saa hii what have you been receiving ulikuwa umepokea nini you are taking it by yourself unaichukua poa ya peke yako if you come and kneel here and i pray for you yeah with my hand on you ninaomba mkono wako ukiwa juu yako and you go na unaenda and talk ill about me of the things i have not done na kunaongea mambo ambayo sijatenda the words that i spoke to you while i was praying for you maneno niliyotamka nikiwa nakuombea they become poisonous sina ina padrika itakuwa sumu have you ever asked why and where people get ulcers from umeajiuliza ni wa mgwapi watu wanaokota vidonda vya dumu pressure heart issues misukumo ya damu marubu ugonjwa wa maroho nothing wrong has happened but there is anxiety in you hakuna kitu ume lakini kuna unasikia kwamba una msukumo people collect some of these things watu wanakusanya mambo mengine kutoka kwa madhabahu especially when the church is as young as it is wa mingi wakati kanisa iko ndogo kama hii we are counting on you for your availability wewe kupatikana for your word of mouth hiyo neno jina neno kutoka kwa chapo you may not be learned like me unwenda usisome kama mimi you may not be anointed as i am uweze kuwa but at your level kwa kwa kiwango chako you can have a word unaweza kuwa na neno ambayo katika upumbavu wake tu linanitia moyo especially when i want you the most that's when you are away from me That's how people collect some of these things on the old. Ndio wanaokota kutoka kwa madhabahu. And that's why I officially release Wickliff and David. Ndio sababu ninawaachilia hasa Wickliff na David. Na kupatia ujasiri kwa kwenda kufesi hao watu wawili waambie Pastor Wickliff has released you. you. Because some of these people can come to you as a problem. Watu wengi hao wanaweza kuja kama shida kwako. Ana anasema hapa kwamba kila mtu ataubeba mzigo wake. wake. Hiyo ndio mizigo tunaokota hapa wapendwa. Mm. Because if you can come to my house and I serve you with a cup of tea. Na utoke uende usengenye huyo mtu amekupatia hicho kikombe cha chai. Hiyo chai inageukanga katika anga ya kiroho inakuwa sumu katika maisha yako. Yes. That's why unaonanga what flani mtu amekuwa kipesa zikitembea katika mikono all of a sudden the cup becomes dry because of poor relationship with the altar yeah. lack of what knowledge teachers of the word i want you to pray to god that he gives you revelation about the altar mufundishe watu ukweli kuhusu madhabahu ili mtu atikwenge portion yake akikimbia naye ya baraka even if i will lose anybody else apart from them today god will still give me the ability to raise up a disciplined to discipline nataka 
au niamini kwa kiwango ya kwamba you can introduce me to your family ni ushago ni wanene and you are proud and you say the ha comes my pastor he is small but ladies and gentlemen listen to what is coming out of his mouth i have tested and seen that the lord in him is good i've tested his character i've tested his mouth i have tested his anointing he is not just god 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 no 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 if we do that way we will never grow where we utoke uende kwenu si hata kwenu hapa tuko plot mahali unakaa labda na mama yako ama na dada yako mkubwa ama na ndugu yako mkubwa unashika una matiti hivi unamwambia pia mimi ni mwanamke we pia mimi ni mwanamke what do you expect of that woman huyu mtu umejipaka vaselini yake umevaa slippers zake umeoga maji yake excuse me hiyo maji iko kwa hiyo nyumba ni yangu ni mimi nalipanga do you know what i go through ndo nilipe hiyo maji we nimekutoa tu shago nimekuleta unakaa kwangu unanyamba huko unakula vile unataka unaenda kwa choo yangu ni mimi nalipia pesa ya kukuja kutoa hiyo takataka alafu at the end of the day una nini cheki cheki vile unanifanyia pia mimi ni mwanaume bro usinilete kwa sababu umemea ndevu mbili kama ya mbuzi at the end of the day if you will succeed then the heavens will not be faithful the bible itself teaches whoever shall bless you shall bless you natakai kuelekezea kidole ni sawa na kuelekeza hicho kidole katika mboni ya jicho la Mungu so unaweza chesengenya mchungaji na asijue unaweza sengenya kiongozi kanisani na asijue asijue uliko wapi kuosha kanisa baada ya kuosha kila kitu hapo naanza kupita na hata ijaoshwa vizuri na umaeosha hii kanisa that's why you are collecting curses tafadhali miziko iko kwa hii madhabahu yenye watu wataokota wengi wakufe vifo vya mapema washikwe na magonjwa ya aina tiba washikwe na kuchanganyikiwa wapoteze ndoa na mahusiano kukuwe na ukosefu wa heri katika maisha na pia katika ya madhabahu kuna baraka ambayo mtu anahitaji kwa ajili ya the opposite to be true let us collect blessings first peter chapter 4 verse 12 to 16 ibe answer kwa kusema beloved in other words it is talking or addressing a mm. fellowship Mm-mm. the people within the circle of christianity if you be reproached for the name of christ yes happy are you yes. for the spirit of glory and of god rest upon you yes and on their part he is evil spoken of mm. but on your part he is glorified but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief mm. or as an evil doer lakini katika kuteseka huko nimewaambia mambo yote yanafanyika katika wema wa bwana isn't it yes in this suffering kwa bateso haya i am encouraged na kutia moyo that they be found none of us in our midst isipatikane moja wetu katika miongoni mwetu who is suffering abana teseka as a result of sin kwa sababu ya dhambi but be found someone who can suffer apatikane mtu atakaye teseka for the glory of god kwa utukufu wa mungu please don't suffer usiteseke because of your mouth kwa sababu ya ubikuno wako kwa sababu ya kukosa maarifa because of your action kwa sababu ya matendo yako because of the curses you collect on the altar kwa sababu ya wana pepa kwa makanisa kutoka moja na nyingine if there is any suffering lakini kama kuna kana mateso yote it should be the suffering together with christ what mateso pamoja na kristo otherwise for you now who are suffering right now for the sake of the ministry for the sake of christ for the sake of righteousness can i speak in your life receive it positively take it in love knowing that trials and temptations produces perseverance hallelujah it teaches you how to persevere yes right now i can advise a pastor who is starting the church nesa mtia moyo mchungaji anayeanza kanisa i can teach him Nesa mfunza because i have been in it kwa sababu nimekuwa ndani i know how weight it is najua vile iko na uzito how painful it is vile iko na uchungu how people may misuse you ah vile watu wanaweza kutumia vibaya Sometimes how you can be used wrongly wakati mwingine wanaweza tumikwa vibaya i will warn that pastor ninamtamwonya huyo and i tell him na nimwambie be careful when you go to someone's house to pray umakinika wakati ambapo unaenda kwa nyumba mpendo kwa sababu i have an experience kwa sababu nina hiyo mtu usiwe mtu ananiita kwa nyumba to pray with him kuomba na yeye to cancel him kumkumwa pale mshauri baada ya kutoka he calls someone 
anaita mwingine a girlfriend telling him that pastor said this about you anamwambia alifanya alisema hiyo which is not true ambao si ukweli now i have been through the process nimekuwa katika kutendelewa imenifunza there is something you have learned kuna kitu ambacho umechifunza now if the same can repeat itself ikiwa itajirudia kesho i can persevere naweza fumilia because the other one kwa sababu ile nyingine it did not consume me haikunimaliza it was painful ilikuwa ya uchungu lakini kunimaliza na kwa kile naweza sema i don't have even time to tell people about this one sitaki sina hata muda wa kuambia watu about this like the other one vanished vile nyingine liisha this one shall also vanish